It is the end of the week and that means there are more PlayStation 4 game trailers to check out. This week was actually rather light, but there are still some very interesting trailers on some smaller titles that I would highly recommend you guys to check out. And in this video, that's what we're gonna be going over. We've got six must-see PlayStation 4 game trailers, so let's get right into this. First up, Dead's Gambit release date announcement trailer. Dead's Gambit has been a game that's been in development for a very long time. Originally, we expected it to release back in 2016. Needless to say, it went through quite a bit of development turmoil however now it's finally coming and the description of the game says this reborn by death and bound to his service challenge the undying guardians of Ceridon and discover the true price of immortality with this release date announcement trailer it's confirmed that the game is coming on august 14 2018 check out the trailer for yourself Agony Story Trailer Agony is another highly anticipated game and it's actually being released at the end of this month. It looks to be a very atmospheric horror game and it's played from a first person perspective. You start your journey as a tormented soul within the depths of hell without any memories of your past. You have the ability to control people on their path and even possess simple minded demons. The game looks very interesting and this story trailer gives us more of an idea of the game's ambiance. Check it out. The Fall it's the last thing I remember. Memories tear apart my soul, consumed by the endlessly burning fire. Light causes pain, and darkness brings solace. That's why everybody thinks that she knows how to leave it. The Red Goddess. My Goddess. Come with me, let's... let's find our queen. Turn you to the world of the living. Appreciate the possibilities that I have given you. Having these creatures under control gives so much joy. <laughs> the 
Middle Earth Shadow of War Desolation of Mordor launch trailer. Middle Earth Shadow of War is a game that's been getting better and better. Recently, we know that the microtransactions have been removed from the game, and now we have a brand new story DLC in Desolation of Mordor. Desolation of Mordor has you employ an army of ruthless human mercenaries along with their new combat and stealth ability to conquer imposing marauder forces. The Desolation of Mordor story DLC is already available, and considering that you can pick up Middle Earth Shadow of War pretty cheap now, not a bad time. Time to check the game out. Have a look at the launch trailer. This doesn't seem like a place you find good men. We're not looking for good men. We're looking for mercenaries. Seeking soldiers. Lucky for you, I've got the finest warriors in all of Middle Earth. <laughs> Worked out all the hitches. Hitches. If you don't like dwarf asses, don't look up. It's time to even the score. Conan Exiles launch trailer. Conan Exiles is yet another survival game release, and a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, I would have said that survival games were the top genre in all of gaming. That genre has lost a little bit of its momentum thanks to the emerging popularity of Battle Royale titles, but seeing another survival game on the PlayStation 4 definitely isn't a bad thing. And Conan Exiles actually looks to run pretty well, it has a different kind of thematic to it, comparatively speaking to all of the other survival games, so this might be one that will entice you a little bit. If you haven't been sold on it, maybe the launch trailer will do the trick. Check it out. In the beginning, there was sand. And in the sand, Conan Exiles left footprints of epic proportions. Though the road through development was long, with huge tracts of land. Now, the exiled lands have more than doubled their original size and is no longer a mere sandbox. The Frozen North update added snowy peaks and fertile highlands, and at launch, the humid swamp and smoldering volcano are introduced. With such a large-scale world, traversing it can be time-consuming. But if you are able to find the recipe to construct the map room, you can fast travel to certain waypoints located around the world. Perhaps you'll visit Sepemaru, the relic hunter city to the west, which is now a mostly harmless trading hub where players can come to barter, or perhaps strike up a conversation with the locals over a pina colada. With a fully dynamic weather system, there is a chance you might get caught in the rain snow, or deadly sandstorms. But if you have half a brain, you'll avoid frostbite or sunstroke by dressing appropriately for your surroundings. The world is filled with dangerous monsters and other humans, as well as challenging world bosses and deadly dungeons. These dungeons are designed to test you and reward those who show strength, intellect, and resourcefulness with items and lore you won't find anywhere else. Combat in Conan Exiles has gone from simple strikes to a grand set of combos with light and heavy attacks and unique moves for each weapon type. And with improvements to artificial intelligence, mastering your moveset and stamina is critical. These improvements also apply to the thralls you capture, making them highly effective guards for your base. Milestone bonuses have been added to perks and attributes, and players can buff their stats with war paints, potions, and armor modifications. 
There are now hundreds of weapons and armor pieces in the game, which are customizable through color dyes and modification kits. And there are hundreds of building blocks in different tiers and styles for you to enjoy, including crafting and cooking stations, grow beds, and decorative items for the castle of your dreams and your enemy's nightmares. To penetrate the defenses of a player's fortress, siege weapons were introduced in the form of trebuchets, which can give you the upper hand as both attacker and defender, particularly if your enemy has been able to summon an avatar to tear down your walls. With the ability for players to climb any structure or cliff face in the game, necessary defenses like siege cauldrons and crenellated walls were added. And should the enemy somehow be able to sneak their way in, there is always the option of blowing them up in your personal minefield. Defensive construction is not just against other players, as the creatures of the land also rise against you to drive you from their territories. Attack on Titan 2 Showdown Mode Trailer Attack on Titan 2 has been one of the better games Tecmo Koei has put out in recent years because it's so different than their typical generic properties. Yes, Tecmo Koei has a couple of good games, but they're all very similar to one another, but Attack on Titan 2, just because of the license it's based off of, it has to be a little different, and it was one of their more well-received titles. Of course, with this game, I would still recommend you to be a fan of the property before going in. I would not go into Attack on Titan 2 without having any fandom towards Attack on Titan, but it is a good game and now the showdown mode also includes 1v1 battles in an online setting. That's a pretty nice addition and it's available right now. Check out the trailer. And finally, Terra Corsair Stronghold Update Trailer. The MMO in Terra has been released on the PlayStation 4. It is absolutely free to play. Of course, you can delve into microtransactions, as is the case with most free-to-play titles, but they are updating the game as well. And the new Corsair Stronghold Update Trailer shows, and this allows you to engage in epic 20v20 PvP battleground modes. Bring your best level 65 character and be ready to rumble. Check out the update trailer. Hi. I'm Matt from the Terra team at Enmass, and today I'm going to tell you a bit about Corsair Stronghold, a new PvP battleground available now as a free update in Terra for PlayStation 4. Corsair Stronghold challenges level 65 players in teams of 20 to destroy or protect a pirate's crystal treasure stowed away on an island fortress. Your primary objective is the crystal inside the stronghold. It's often strongly defended and it takes quite a bit to destroy it, so don't try to take it down alone. Each team has seven minutes to destroy the anchor stone. The team with the best time, or that deals the most damage to the stone before time runs out, wins the match. In this battleground, each player is equipped with the same equalized gear, putting all players on a level playing field so you can test your skill and not your equipment. Before reaching the fortress, players square off in small skirmishes across a broad battlefield. Capturing any of the three pyres on the battlefield means your team can respawn closer to the action and buys more time to finish your assault on the anchor stone. Raid leaders can scan the battlefield every 30 seconds for troop locations. It's their job to call out vulnerable targets, direct teammates to isolated players, and point out vital tactical information. Attackers have a variety of tools and tactics for breaching the gates and getting through to the anchor stone. It might seem tempting to climb the ladders, but defenders will certainly be waiting at the top, so expect a brutal fight. Survivors can continue to the inner hold or take control of one of the cannons on the walls. 
One key strategy is to grab a tank outside the fortress walls and use its cannon to blast a hole in one of the gates. But the absolute quickest way to get inside the stronghold is to climb aboard the airships near the starting area. They fly over the outer walls, but airships can be shot down, which means you could die without ever even getting close. Corsair Stronghold is available now as a free update in Terra for PlayStation 4. So that wraps up six must-see PlayStation 4 game trailers for this week. Again, a pretty light week in comparison to recent weeks, but considering that E3 is coming up, we know that a lot of developers and publishers are saving their content for that big show. But still some interesting stuff. Agony looks great. Death's Gambit is great to get a release date on that. Desolation of Mordor looks pretty solid, so good stuff all around. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.